Today I'm going to show you what the inside of a motor on these weed eaters here looks like. It's a four stroke grass trimmer and I've got one all apart. Here it is. It's completely apart. What happened with this one is the guy didn't tighten up the spark plug tight enough and the threads all stripped. So I inherited that as parts. Now these ones here have valves in them. They're just tiny little valves in there. So I don't know if you can see the valves there, but here they are. They're pretty small. And here they are right here. These are the rocker arms. There's tiny little push rods like this that came out of the motor. So here's how it works. That's the camshaft right here. And it opens these up and the push rods sit right on top in the grooves like this in the motor so there's two of them and when the motor turns these little arms turn as well just show you here so you can see them moving up and down and that's what opens and closes the valves so here's the whole crankshaft assembly The ports are pretty small. Here's the intake port, and that's the exhaust port. The piston's pretty small. There's the ignition module. I kept it on the part so I wouldn't lose it. There's the adapter for the carburetor. And the muffler, it's pretty big, so it makes them a lot quieter. And there's the recoil. There's the carburetor. This is a Waldboro WYL carburetor. If you need a kit for that, it's a K20 WYL or D11 WYL. Here's the valve cover. So on these, when you adjust the valves, what you do is you tighten or loosen the nut here and you put your feeler gauge in between this and the valve. So that cover just goes on there like that and it's covered by this shroud over here. So they're a neat little four stroke motor, but I prefer the two strokes myself for a weed eater. There's the oil pan. And that goes in the back over here. So that's basically it. It's all apart. I'm just going to throw it in the box and keep it as a parts machine.